Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, depending on when you get a chance to watch this. Uh, this, of course, being Comic Cuts. Uh, it's my video blog. It's the 15th episode I think I've done on video. And this one is for the 17th of July, 2020. We're slowly coming out of lockdown now. So uh, one of the reasons why I started this was just to do something different during that lockdown period. So um, there's a chance that this may be the last one that I'm going to do for a little while. I do rather enjoy making these little videos. And uh, it's been something very different. I've never done this before. Uh, and it's been quite enjoyable. But uh, it needs must. Uh, in this case, I'm going to be quite busy over the next few weeks with the next uh, project from Bear Alley Books. Uh, now, I've, I've trailered this a couple of times. And uh, what I'm hoping to do is do a magazine. At the moment, I'm not even sure what the title is going to be. Um, uh, when I started Bear Alley Books, one of the first things that I thought of doing was a magazine. Like everything that I do, it was just a really a nebulous idea. Um, we moved house in 2010. So uh, all of my ideas were um, put on hold. Uh, but towards the end of the year, I sat down and I actually started writing and created a magazine, uh, which I called BAM, uh, short for Bear Alley Magazine. That simple. But the idea, unfortunately, went nowhere at the time. Uh, instead, I turned to books. And in, uh, I think, March 2011, uh, the first two books came out. One was a collection of essays that I did in hardcover. And the other one was the Hurricane and Champion Index. The Hurricane Index was the area that I really wanted to move back into and do some comic reprints. So the next set of books was uh, Eagles Over the Western Front, which I did in three volumes. And kind of by this time, uh, the magazine was um, pushed back and back. Never really happened. Um, I never really got behind it as an idea, uh, which was part of the problem. But it's something that I've had in mind for the last year or so. Uh, the, I think the last of the Forgotten Authors volumes came out towards the end of 2018. Again, that wasn't selling very well. So I thought, OK, well, I've got to change direction again. And I know at the beginning of the year, I did some work on the uh, uh, Valiant Index. And again, I switched direction uh, because I need I, I basically I needed to make some money. So during the spring and summer of last year, I was selling books and magazines on eBay. And that was bringing in a reasonable income for a while until we had some problems with our Internet that I'm sure that people who have been following Bear Alley uh, will remember. Uh, I disappeared for a month. Um, we had no Internet. We had no phone. And uh, it took a little while to sort myself out. Uh, reconnected to the internet uh, by going down to a little cafe that we have locally and using their internet uh, for free well for the cost of a cup of coffee they were uh, very good to me those lovely people at the olive tree uh, they were fantastic and uh, so yeah so I managed to reconnect up to the internet but it basically it just threw everything else out um, uh, I did have some work at that time which was the and the wheels went round book uh, which is still available through Bear Alley Books. Uh, that was done for John and Tony. Um, not as a favour. They did pay me. They paid me to do it. Um, but it was one of those situations where I had said, uh, or they had said, you know, we've gone to a publisher and they want to charge us uh, this amount for publishing the book. And I said, oh, I could do it for a third of the price, uh, which I nearly did, I think. Uh, I think it was about a third of the price. So uh, uh, I rather uh, boasted myself into a corner there. Um, but that kept me going for a month. And towards the end of the year, I was still selling on eBay. Uh, uh, and then I managed to sideline myself after Christmas by sitting down and writing the Rocket Book. <laughs> Not a stellar seller, and it was never going to be. But uh, I'm glad I sat down. It was, it was a project that I enjoyed doing because it was something I'd never looked at before. I don't really remember reading Rocket before I decided to do the book. Um, and I just looked at it and thought, well, there's got to be an interesting story there. And indeed there was. Uh, and hopefully that comes across in the finished book. But uh, yeah, after April, 
Uh, obviously, we've had some problems with lockdown. I've been working on the two longbow volumes. Now, they are almost done. Uh, I'm very pleased to say. Um, I have uh, finished the layouts. Uh, they are, I think, volume one is 134 pages, volume two, 140 pages. Um, I have sent copies out to people who are looking at them now. Um, I'm getting some feedback before I send off for proof copies. Uh, I will almost certainly be able to do that next week. Now, it may take up to two weeks for the proof copies to come back uh, and for me to do corrections. But in that time, I'll set up a page uh, so that people can actually start pre-ordering the books. Um, that Again, that may be a couple of weeks away. So with the longbow books pretty much out of the way, uh, what have I been up to? Well, I have spent the morning looking up prices for printing a full colour magazine. Obviously, all my figures are very rough. Um, but I reckon I can do an 80 page perfect printed book uh, style magazine um, and the cost would be possibly 13 or 14 pounds, including postage and packing, uh, which sounds like a lot. But that is full color throughout and it's quite a substantial page count as well. The reason for doing it this way and for having, you know, I could do a 48 page A5 little booklet, but A5 has one big problem, uh, which is if uh, if I was doing a magazine about books, uh, printing a book cover on an A5 magazine would be fine. But a full comic page, I'd have to shrink that down quite substantially and it would be virtually unreadable. So it's got to be A4, really, if I'm to uh, show off. Uh, the full spectrum of comic strip artwork. That's kind of a given. That's that's one of the things that obviously I would want to do with the magazine. So one reason for doing an 80 page magazine rather than a 48 page magazine. Uh, obviously, 48 pages is easier to fill, but I want to do some substantial articles um, and still have space for uh, other material as well. Um, perhaps treating it more like a magazine, we would be able to carry a little bit of news uh, or, or expand some items of news uh, into short articles, also do some reviews, you know, keep that magazine-y feel. I would dearly love to have a letters page in there as well. But, um, yeah, uh, uh, really the idea of doing a, a, a substantial page count is so that we can have some big articles, you know, perhaps uh, uh, one or two uh, big articles per issue, perhaps one big lead article and some shorter material. Uh, you know, it, it gives me the option to do a lot of different things. Um, uh, one thing that I would like to do is continue with some indexes. Uh, so do some shorter indexes. But the indexes themselves, I like to do those in a certain format, which is um, to um, essentially illustrate every single strip and the majority, at least, of the features. One of the reasons why the indexes are quite substantial books is that there's a sample of virtually everything that went into a comic. Um, now, I've got some uh, shorter indexes, uh, but I've also got some quite long indexes that I want to do uh, through this magazine format. Uh, uh, there's one huge project uh, that I'm thinking of uh, that's been sitting around for some years now, and that demands colour, uh, but also demands quite a lot of pages. So having a substantial page count will work in certainly in my benefit, and I hopefully uh, will work for the benefit of the reader as well. You know, we'll be able to cram quite a lot in there and do some uh, quite interesting things with the format. Uh, obviously, I'm still looking at this. Uh, there may be some uh, things that I'm forgetting, but uh, I'm hoping to keep the price down as best I can. But um, full colour printing is very expensive. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be doing the sort of numbers that would justify printing it abroad um, as, say, for instance, the um, Illustrator magazine is done because uh, I'm talking about much smaller numbers of printing. But uh, yeah, if I can if I can get the cost down and if I can keep the cost down, um, as well as producing quite a substantial volume. Uh, I hope that there will be a market out there for it, and I hope that it will work. Anyway, we shall see how that goes. I still have a lot of phoning people up and trying to find prices, but uh, I've uh, spoken to one or two people, and I've already been offered one or two uh, rather nice pieces, 
that I'm looking forward to seeing. So hopefully that is something that we will be doing very soon. I would love to get an, uh, an issue out by September. Uh, but uh, my projects do have a tendency to slip a few weeks. But uh, So we shall see. Um, uh, one possibility that I've not mentioned, of course, is doing a Kickstarter. Um, I've not even looked into it yet, but it may be a good way of gauging interest in such a magazine as I'm uh, proposing. Uh, whatever happens, I'll make sure that everybody knows everything about it. Um, I, I'm not known for playing these things close to my chest, so the moment I hear about anything or know anything for certain, I will make sure that everybody else knows it. So... Um, what I'm planning to do is uh, over certainly over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to sit down, uh, work out uh, uh, contents for potential contents and talk to people uh, uh, about contributing things. Uh, one thing that I won't be doing is another one of these videos for at least a couple of weeks. Um, uh, however much I've enjoyed doing them and I have enjoyed doing them. They were always a lockdown project, and as we're coming out of lockdown, um, I really need to sit down and work on uh, the future of Bear Alley Books and see where it's going. And actually, at this time, you know, I'm just going to be really busy, and uh, the videos tend to take a whole day, uh, not just recording, uh, but editing them, um, inserting pictures into them, and uh, just making sure that they work. But I have to listen through to them three or four times just to make sure that they all hang together properly. And uh, that all takes time. And uh, certainly at the beginning, uh, the videos were going up at about two o'clock in the morning um, because I was working through. And that meant that I was tired the next day and not doing a full day's work. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the videos on pause. Uh, there will still be a written Comic Cuts column every Friday uh, to keep everyone informed about what's going on. Uh, and I may return to doing a, a video maybe once a month. Uh, we, will, we will just have to wait and see how I feel about it and um, what the benefits are to it because I may be able to do some more interviews. Again, I need to work out some uh, technical problems that I've got. Uh, the biggest technical problem being I've been bluffing my way through this for 15 weeks and uh, uh, some of the problems have caught up with me. So anyway, we will... Uh, We'll just have to wait and see what happens there. Um, I have enjoyed doing these, and I hope you've enjoyed them too. But next week, uh, back to written comic cuts. I'll still be here. You can contact me through Facebook. You can contact me through my blog at Bear Alley. Uh, please buy my books at Bear Alley Books. It's how I've survived uh, the ridiculous situation that we've all found ourselves in. And uh, thank you all for uh, continuing to buy the books and uh, giving me great feedback on them. Um, it's kept me going. It's kept me smiling and uh, kept me sane. Uh, I think. I think it's kept me sane. Um, right. Well, that's it for uh, this week's Comic Cuts. And um, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely do more videos in the future. But uh, for the next couple of weeks, at least, written Comic Cuts, um, which I can... Uh, put together rather quickly or rather more quickly and uh but yeah so uh stay safe uh, uh, i hope you're to stay safe and i will see you all again soon all right bye 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 <laughs>